Alright guys, so now that we have a custom row design, or a custom list item design, we need to make a custom adapter. Because remember, adapter is essentially responsible for taking code and converting it to this list item right here. So, the one we had by default is right here, simple list item, and that only works with text, however we have images and kind of weird layout right now so that's why we need to create a custom one so go to your package and this is just going to be one file so right click new java class and I'm just going to name it custom adapter hit ok and actually I already have my imports copied so I'm going to paste them right in there so if you want to pause the video and copy all those then go ahead or if you just want to copy it from my website you can do that too whatever alright so the first thing I want to do is get rid of public so we just have class and I want to actually you need to inherit from array adapter so this essentially says okay what we're creating here is an array adapter or an adapter to take an array and convert it to our own custom view and let me arrange this all right, so just like before, right in here, what we need to say is what data are we working with? Well, the array that we're going to enter is just um, an array of strings, so that's why we put string right there. So it's giving us error because it says whenever you make an array adapter or you're trying to convert code to that view, you first need to use the constructor. So hit Alt, Insert constructor array adapter right like there and as you see whenever we have the constructor the error disappears so we have two parameters that got passed in context and int resource now this int resource right here is going to be that array itself now instead of an integer it was actually a string array so we're going to be passing in a string array is our resource and we'll just call it foods so we can work with it so of course we need to change this to foods now this context whenever you see context it just means information and for right now it's just background information that whenever you pass it along to the super class it needs so we don't really have to worry about that it's behind the scenes pretty cool however what we do need is the super class needs one more parameter and in the middle put r dot layout and whatever you named your file I named mine custom row stick that right in there so whenever you create an object a custom adapter you're gonna accept a string and just treat it as foods and for the layout for each individual row or list item use custom row so it's gonna go over to custom row it says okay so right now it has this string and it's looking at this and obviously as human beings we can say okay well the text obviously goes in there but this program isn't as smart as us so that's what we have to do right now so go back to custom adapter and we're gonna create one more method and this is actually an override method so hit alt insert in override methods and it is called get view where you at did I just see it get view right there all right so what this is and let me just get rid of all of that so get view is where we say hey for those strings that we passed in this is where I want you to put them this is how I want you to lay it out so the first two rows are actually just housekeeping if you go to layout inflator I think I talked to you guys about inflator before anytime you see the word inflate it's kind of I don't know why Android named it inflate to be honest it just means like prepare or get ready for rendering it's how Android deals with laying things out on your activity but you can just name it anything you want Bucky's inflator that sounds pretty cool and just set this equal to layout inflator from get context and by the way context I think I just said this but anytime you see context it just means background information boring stuff all right now the important part is this view custom view and this is essentially going to be equal to one custom row 
So, yeah, view row, tomato, tomato. But if you set this equal to Bucky's inflator, inflate, r dot layout, custom row, or whatever you named your file right there, parent, and false, and that just has to deal with if you inflate anything to a parent, but we aren't worried about that. So the next thing we have to do is just get a reference to everything. Three different things. The first thing we need is a reference to these strings right here. The second thing we need is a reference to this text element. And the third thing is a reference to this. So to do that, it's pretty simple. The first thing I'm going to do is get single food item. And that's just something in my array. And in order to do that, just put get item position because these did I say these this can't even talk today of course is the position of each item in your list and we saw that in the last tutorial well actually like three tutorials ago whatever so now we just want to get a reference to that text element that we created last time of course that's a text view and our custom view, which is a reference to this file, remember on here, what we can do is we can just call find v by id r dot id dot Bucky's text and do the same thing with image. So that was actually an image view, Bucky's image, and set this equal. Actually, I don't think I gave that image an id. Alright, so, well, I did now, sucka. So this is Bucky's image. And set this equal to image view, custom view, custom view, find view by ID, and that's r dot id dot Bucky's image. Where you at? There you are. Uh uh. There you are. Alright. So now we have a reference to everything that we need. Now, pretty self-explanatory we're gonna take Bucky's text which is that text element on the activity and we're just gonna set the text of it to whatever food item it's referencing next thing we want to do is take that Bucky's image and in order to change the image you actually call set image oh, not, image resource right there now of course r dot drabble dot chunky. All right. So again, what this is going to do is it's going to change the text dynamically to each one of these items. However, since I didn't feel like loading in a bunch of different images or sticking those in an array, um, I'm just calling the same one over and over again. So it's just going to show my face over and over and over again. But uh, of course later on whenever you make an actual app you would obviously want to change that unless you made an app and you just wanted to see my face a bunch of times which I don't blame you because I'm beautiful but the last thing we have to do here is just return custom view so of course this which we just created the whole point of these tutorials is create a custom view so we have to return it so she's saying hey use that now the last line of code that we have to do is this. Right now, our adapter is still using this basic boring adapter. And obviously, we just made this sweet custom one so we can use this cool row. So let's change this right here. Now, the first thing you do is, well, we can keep the same name. Why the heck not? But instead of array adapter, actually, we can just delete all that. All right. So, of course, instead of array adapter, which is that boring built-in one, let's go ahead and set this equal to custom adapter. Thank you very much. Now, of course, this, for the constructor, remember, it's just the context, which is background information. And the second thing is passing that foods array. So, of course, foods, and boom, there you go. So, I mean... That's that, ladies and gentlemen. So let me go ahead and pause it and run it, and hopefully we don't got any bugs. And check it out. We now got custom rows. Ham, tuna, candy, meatball, potato. Clicking it, and it says potato. 
Meatball, this is the best app ever. <laughs> Alright, so there you go. Obviously, this is the coolest app ever because it looks like all of your contacts are me. And these are <laughs> all my nicknames. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you create not only apps with let me get this out of this trying to explain this here in Android Studio but that is how you create apps with list views using generic layouts and also custom layouts right there so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I will smell y'all later